Um, but in, the, in that first six months, I'd really, I'd made a couple of commitments. One was that every single dollar I earned was going to go back into marketing who Bruce McGee was because I needed to stand out from the rest of the crowd. I needed, we had 16 agents in, in the office and I was the new boy and I had to do something different that would make people at least look at me and say, oh yeah, there's Bruce, uh, yeah, oh he's in real estate now, boom. So I did a, um, in my first two months I did a, a promotion and um, it was list with me, you'll get a three, and being a one in 10 chance to win uh, $3,000 cash. And I, um, I did all my promotions around that. So every time I put an advert in the paper, I had a platter of $3,000 in my hand. And it wasn't, the $3,000 was irrelevant. What was relevant was the people looked at the ad because they saw the money and they saw my face. And that's, and, I, and everybody else had their nice prom, uh, prim sort of pictures looking, you know, very stately. And here I was with a platter of money. So from a marketing sense, people looked at me and they saw the money, that's fine. And whether they, whether they wanted the money or not, they saw my face and my name. And that's all I wanted to stand out from the other 16. And all of a sudden I had people ringing me going, oh yes, saw you in the... Yeah, and you were smart about that. So we were obviously in the office watching this happen. How was he bloody giving away three thousand dollars for people who want three thousand bucks out of us? You know, like. Um, uh, but he he um, what he did is he I think it was the first ten listings. Was it the first yeah, ten listings? First 10 so one out of ten chance sold. of winning three yeah. three grand. So list and sold. So it was either yeah. So as a so ten people, you got them all into the a room. At, is it after yeah. after work one day? Put on some beer. Put on some food. And what'd you do with the three thousand? How'd you how'd you make that work? Yeah. So so the first ten, and I did this twice. So. I'd, 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 Two lots of ten uh, before I joined up with Ritesh. So uh, when it, when I, we had we had to have the big draw. So everybody, and I mean every one of those ten people, even though that some of them were from, were from out of town, came to a function I put on in the office. Um, and what I we put, yeah we put on food and drink and um, it's, a, it's a, just a really nice occasion. So what I'd done is I'd done um, photographs of each of the houses that were sold um, of their houses. And I got 10, and there were 10, obviously, and put them on a big board, and I had 10 ping pong balls, and I uh, put the name on there, and I stuck the ping pong ball um, onto each of the, uh, with the, with the names on. So, uh, part of the prize was that everybody was a winner, because I gave a $100 meal voucher to each of the 10 people anyway. Um, so I invited them up, presented them with their $10, uh, their $100 meal voucher, they then came and had a photograph session with each of them. With a, I got a professional photographer in. Then they went up, picked off their ping pong ball and stuck it in the big container that the draw was going to be in. So it was all very dramatically done. Um, and so we pieced our way through that and everybody was just like, it was like it was a lotto draw. And it was just amazing. So what I'd done is I'd gone to the bank and says, I need this to look like it's impressive. So they got $3,000 with the $10 notes for me. And I got a big silver platter and we piled it up like this. And that's the way it was presented. Um, and of course, uh, there was a lucky winner. And, and one person clapped really loudly and the other nine went, well done, well done. <laughs> um, uh, but I'll tell you now that those, te those 10 people and repeat it again, those 20 people will never forget that evening because it was something different to, to, to do for them. Uh, and and I've, had, I've had business back from all, you know, a, a lot of those people since that period of time. So it was just something different that nobody else was doing um, that would give me a, a leg up in the industry, really. It's real simple. It's not, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to think about these things. But those 20 people now will be singing Bruce's praises, like they'll go to a barbecue and this and that, and someone will say, I've just sold my house, and so oh, how did that experience go? And so, oh, look, Bruce, he's a good bar, so he bloody weird this thing, and he won three grand or didn't, or won a um, meal voucher or whatever it might have been. And they'll, sing it, and they'll say, well, my agent didn't do that. Um, and, and suddenly he's, those 20 people have told 20 people have told 20 people, and this is how real estate works, right? Um, and it's just, it works like this. So 